For most, Christmas is spent unwrapping presents and being together as a family. But for the Hill family of East Price Hill, this day that once brought enormous joy is now a reminder of what they once had. Local 12's Brad Underwood has the story. This Christmas, Jalen Hill would have been six years old. The Hill family says police have told them this case has gone cold. The driver never stopped that day in 2012, and the Hill family still searching for justice for Jalen. Happy birthday! Happy. Huddling together, the Hill family pleads for those responsible to step up and tell the truth. We got sisters and brothers. We just need them to man up. We just need them to, to man up and come deal with what he does. Police say Jalen was playing outside with other children on March 22nd, 2012, when he ran into the street after a football. Witnesses say there were two black men in the car. We want justice for him. That's all. That's all I want is justice for my baby. That's all I want. There's no guilty. Just come for it. I know you can't live with it. Investigators eventually found the red Chevy Impala they believe to have hit Jalen. But the owner, who was questioned, said she wasn't driving the car at the time and didn't know who may have been behind the wheel. <laughs> Jalen's mother, Janelle Hill, says her four other children help her get through the bad days. Hill says she believes whoever hit and killed her son still lives in the Price Hill area and that someone even tore down a Crime Stoppers flyer at a nearby gas station. He told me a black gentleman came and took it down and said he was a family member and want none of our family members taking the posters down. So it had to be the crook who hit my child. No one has been charged or arrested in the crime. Jalen was three years old when he died. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. If you know something about Jalen Hill's death that could help police, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040.